Caroline Hambright, and welcome to my channel Brighter Days, where I turn junk into really fun, random things. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me stumble through more eclectic projects. Today, I am turning a joystick into a synthesizer. So let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? Ew. It's covered in stain. It's full of a bunch of crud that looks like cigarette tobacco. Not that I would know. See that little black slider that's sliding along that board? Well, that board is actually the potentiometer and the slider is controlling it. There's three wires coming out, an in and out and a ground, just like a regular potentiometer. I hooked the potentiometer up to the multimeter and as you can see, as I move the joystick, the resistance is going down. I copied this little oscillator from Look Mom No Computer, so let's hook it up. Turn it on. And here we have it coming out of our tiny speaker. Uh, turn it up there, and now I can change the resistance with this little pot right here. So the idea is, instead of using the regular twisting potentiometer, I will use the potentiometer that's inside the joystick. Different potentiometers have different amounts, and I really don't know what I need, so we're just gonna hook it up and see if it works. Uh, okay, well, it's working. <laughs> it totally works, but like really weird. I'm on the floor because Ethan's a slob. So here's the resistor, and it's got three wires coming out, and we're thinking the reason why it's not working very well right now is because the whole thing is still hooked up to this whole circuit board, and it's like doing things to it, so. I think I'm doing it wrong. I think you're fine. <laughs> it's for dogs. I don't have a ton of control. All of the stuff happens like. All the way on that edge over there. We changed some of the resistors. In fact, we turned one of the resistors at the end into a capacitor instead um, for science reasons that Ethan explained and I didn't understand. No. Still horrible at the end, but I think that's just the way it's gotta be. Now, so the other potentiometer inside the joystick has something to do, we added in this little filter from Look Mom No Computer. The final circuit ended up looking something like this. Here we go. So let's hear what that sounds like. So here's our pitch. But now side to side. Ethan just told me this stuff is made of fiberglass and I just breathed it in and got it all over my hands. That's really exciting for me. The switch turned out to be just two wires inside which you can put anywhere in your circuit. The power is mine! Taking the opportunity to clean off whatever Crust is here. Don't smoke, kids. And finally, solder all the components into the strip board. Now we can solder in all the wires from the potentiometers and get the LED in order in the right position. We'll also drill a hole for the audio input. I just hot glued in this adapter with two wires attached to it, but you can buy a real one. For the power, I used an 18 volt wall adapter. And another fun and slightly scary thing I encountered is this. Don't leave open wires. Cut them off and fill them with hot glue.
you can interchange resistors and compa capacitors for different amounts and it changes um, the circuit and the sound. Anyway, doing electronics project is something I've always been really nervous of it because I don't understand it at all. I just want to give you the courage to go and try something new even if you don't know anything about it. So, happy building.